Tonight, environmentalists are raising the alarm about illegal dumping in West Maui. Despite recent crackdowns by the county, they say the junkyard is getting bigger. Our Rick Desog reports. Illegal dumping has been a problem in West Maui for years. These derelict cars at Ukumehame were dumped so long ago that they're rusting out. The hillside in nearby Cut Mountain is littered with the skeletal remains of old cars. I was uh, frankly horrified by the magnitude and extent of, of the problem. Really heartbreaking uh, knowing the, the damage of leaking oil and fuels uh, and then all of the you know, trash that is just piled up. Maui County officials hauled away at least 50 derelict vehicles from Cut Mountain two weeks ago and dozens more from Ukumehame in 2018. But the problem continues to persist. I would say it would be the largest that I've seen ever in the state of Hawaii. Environmental activist Carol Cox says the dump sites in West Maui rival the largest illegal junkyards on Oahu. He says it's not only a threat to nearby cultural resources, but also to the drinking water. It's an open dump, and and imagine the damage that it could be done to the groundwater because these are gases and liquids and fluids, and it, it's, it's a sickening feeling. County officials say they plan to team up with the state in the coming weeks for another major cleanup effort, but they say they don't know who's dumping all the old cars and trash in West Maui. The environmentalists suspect that many of the cars were stolen and chopped up for parts. They say a large homeless population has also contributed to the problem. Oh my God, what a, what a nightmare scene. It's kind of a Mad Max world. It's disgusting. State Representative Ellie Cochran says the state and county can address the homeless problem by building temporary housing there like the state's Kauhale program. She added that cutting back the vegetation will also make it harder for polluters to dump their trash. Chop all those trees down. You know, nobody will want to be there. It's Rick Desog, Hawaii News Now.